I do like Umbra. You guys want to see some Umbra? Okay. So here's my reason, the only reason why I'm doing Umbra, right? Let me explain why. I want to see if Harvest works with Morsels. If a Morsel dies, I want to see if Harvest triggers. And if it does, well, that's awesome. Because then we're going to get a lot of Harvest stacks. So let's try Melting Umbra. And let's go for Harvest stuff. Boom. As you guys notice, there's some cards that when when the unit dies, it gains like a bit like health or it gains something, right? Okay. When this dies, it applies stealth to friendly units. You add a morsel so to your hand and a fatal melting. Deal damage to enemy units equal to three times the number of friendly units deaths this battle. Okay, that's good. So I'm assuming this works with morsels. When my morsels die, it stacks up fatal melting. Sounds enticing. At the start of turn, add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hands, or 50% chance to remove all buff effects. So what are the buff effects, to be honest? I mean, what are they exactly? Not to be honest. What are they exactly? Thorns? Spikes? Those are buff effects. 50% chance to remove spikes. Stealth spikes. Okay. Spell shields. Or do I want to have morsel cards start of every turn? This seems more fun. Let's go for the fun thing. I want a harvest effect. Okay, we don't get a harvest effect. We can do burnout again. Because this is just a strong unit. Like, look at this. Burnout, but it's 60-60. Or at the end of turn, you can bring back a unit. Alright, let's do that. Dark Calling. It's a little bit weaker. Doesn't have a lot of good stats. But he's got a fun ability. Enemy units enter with 10 armor. That's gonna hurt. A bit tired already? Hey, good night, man. Take care. So I'm gonna put units to die. That's the goal. Let them die. I'm gonna scale up my dude. I'm going to scale up my big champion. Boom! Wait! I get the mortal... Oh my god, I get the miner back because of his effect. I didn't realize how good that is. Holy shit. And Fatal Melting is going to keep getting bigger because of the morsels dying. Wait a minute. This is already looking juicy. I need to kill that thing in the back. How do I do that? That's all enemy units, right? Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Apply stealth. I can keep my dude alive. I keep my guy stealth. The re-enemy morsel deck. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. It's glorious. The, the morsels are getting stronger. Boom. That guy's gonna die anyways. Oh no, he's gonna get healed. If I do this, he's still- Yeah, he's gonna die anyways, it's fine. There's so many different things we could do! Okay, how big is- I wanna see how big my, my damage card is gonna get. This is gonna get nutty, guys. This is gonna get nutty. Good damage. Keep a more so minor to this guy. Do damage. Not bad. Oh my god, look, my more so minor is huge. What's up, bitches? How you doing, buddy? Welcome back, Twitch Prime. 
20 months. How you doing, Vader Chess? Good to see you back, man. How have you been? You been checking out this game? Alright, we, we win. GG. Where's my damage card? My guy's gaining life. That's what we like to see. Boom. So my guy doesn't have burnout, but he's getting pretty strong. I like it. I like it. Apply burnout 3 to all friendly burnout units. Uh, keep them alive longer. Memento Mori. Deal damage to the front enemy equal, equal to 10 times the number of friend. This is almost too good to be true. Oh, Vili Bestie with the cheer one sub. I'm sorry I missed that. Welcome, dude. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the cheer one sub. Well, this is almost too good to be true. I'm making a deck that wants to let more souls die so I can do damage, and then I get a rare Memento Mori. Like, okay. Say no more. Deal 3x damage to an enemy unit, and when you kill it, you gain energy. That's nice. To have targeted... Damage like that is pretty pretty good in my opinion. Or you can get another Morsel Miner, which is pretty good because Morsel Miner comes back to life sometimes. I'm gonna do Mind Collapse. Ha, huh, you're tempting me with the Paraffin Thug. You're tempting me. There's also Lady of the House. Wait, there's also a Harvester. When a unit dies on this floor, this gets bigger. Now, I don't know if it's anything like Gorge, but if it's anything like Gorge... Maybe there's an artifact that makes Harvest apply twice. My whole goal was to do some Harvest mechanics. So I can have a guy scaling on the same floor where my morsels are dying. Sure. Let's do it. Harvest is a very good mechanic for what our deck is trying to do. Let's go ahead and upgrade the... So we want Umbral units because we want things that do morsels. And we also want to upgrade Memento Mori. But before we do, let's see what unit we get, so we can be more informed about our decision. Okay, say no more. So we already did a crazy run with this. We got this to be 293 permanent attack. Yeah, I know it sounds nuts, but we did it. So we could do an overgorger and go for that, which is a very good unit. Or we can just kind of focus on doing harvest stuff. It's permanent. Yeah, we got this guy to have 293 permanent damage. Let me know, uh, Beta Chess, and I could do it, um, another day. This is inert, which means it can't do anything, cannot attack unless it has fuel, and it gains fuel by eating morsels. So when it eats a morsel, it gets fuel, and then it can attack, and it does 25 times 2, which is very strong. It's a very strong unit. I would do Overgorger. Alright, let's upgrade Fatal Melting. Oh, Memento Mori is very expensive. Let's upgrade that. Let's make... I don't want these things to consume. Nothing I have to remove consume. Normally this would be really good. Let's purge one of these little uh, train stewards. We don't really care about them. In fact, it's purged two of them. I don't want them at all. I want to be very particular about what my deck wants. Now, right, let's go. Alright, non boss enemies get plus four strength. Alrighty. Enlightened Farsher, thank you for the cheer one set. Welcome back, man. Thank you. Alright, we hit our daily sub goal. I like it. I like it. We've been hitting our daily sub goal every single day. It's quite nice. All right, let's put the Overgorger on the top. And let's get him eating. Let's, so I can put this guy here. He can take the damage. Oh, well, never mind. It's not going to work. Fuck, wait. This is not going to work. Wait. I mean, I'm gonna get resolve anyway, so I let Eunice die because I'm gonna get the ability to resolve at the end of combat. But they, so the reason why this is so hard because I gave him plus four attack. 
So it is much harder. Matter of fact, it's like... Like, I'm dying kind of hard. Yikes. Uh, maybe I made a mistake by doing... I gave him too much damage. I need the AoE spell. Where's the AoE spell when I need it? I really need it right now. spell so now I mean, the only rule for giveaways is they at least follow the channel there's no rules now more so wouldn't, wouldn't matter if we take a hits because there are too many units so th yeah, I want to use this on the where the guy is harvesting but keep my guy alive when well, overgorge is getting big at least we have that going for us Our champion's dead though, and we don't have a way to bring him back, so this is gonna be kind of bad. I think this game is a good replacement. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this game. My oh, Overwatch is getting pretty nice though. Hopefully Overgrudger can win this. Damn, I took a lot of damage already. Whoops. Fatal Melting. Mind Collapse. Overgrudger's getting big. Okay, let's try to put something in the front to tank for us. So we get, oh my god, we can tank for it. And we can give him some, we can make him eat more. It's worth it to make him eat, oh my, wait, look how much damage that is. Memento Mori does 180 damage. Say no more. Guys, if we make this have like holdover, this is going to be, a no okay, now we need spell weakness. Wait, now we need spell weakness. Spell weakness like it has to happen though. But this is only good because Umbra is dying so much. So spell weakness doesn't make sense. Hmm. I mean this doesn't need spell weakness. This is good on its own. But we need a smaller deck is what we need. I mean do we do that? Or we can try to make it so that I get more eat, right? Does this make me this? Fine, GG. Okay, for, for what it's worth, Overgorger got pretty big in this fight, so... Now we just gotta upgrade Overgorger. When this dies, it does 35 damage to the front. This is a good unit, I like this. I like this unit. Give more space. I'm gonna skip, although... Space version is pretty good. So I can do more of my Overgorger, I guess. I like this card. I like this card. It is good. It's a good game. All right, more. Oh, more. Go, more. So, wait, what is this? When you summon a morsel so unit, create a copy on the floor. Let's try that. I haven't even tried that before. Okay. Double morsels. Yeah, this is morsel main. Get an artifact, get some healing and cavern, or get a remnant unit and upgrade my spells. Well, I do want to upgrade Memento Mori a little bit more. But I also want artifacts. When a friendly unit dies, enhance it with plus 10 strength. So now we need to get a burnout or a burnout deck or a, uh, what's it called? What's that deck? What's it called when you bring them back to life? What's that mechanic called? Reform? Yeah, we need a reform deck. Let's do resin block. 
We need a reform card in the very least. Let's get a reform card. Or endless. A collection of glowing brains are scattered next to a granite crypt. Alright, so we can get a... Rare Hellhorn draft pick, a rare Awoken draft pick, or a rare Stygian Guard draft pick. Maybe Stygian Guard gives me... The spell weakness we're looking for. Ascend all enemy units on this floor and apply three days. That's pretty good. Or apply Frostbite and Sap. Let's do Siren Song. Siren Song's pretty good. We need the double gorge right effect? Absolutely. Absolutely. Pyre bound, you can only use it on your pyre floor and the floor right below it. So the floor right below and the pyre's floor. So on the top floor basically. So if they get there and you just put them you can give them three days so they can't attack for three turns. Resolve a random unit. We got our overgorger going already. So here's what we're gonna do. Does this apply explode twice? What's what's the special thing? Ah, they do one extra d damage. That's fine. Let's put Morsel Master up here and get set up. And boom, we make two Morsels. Ready? Boom, boom. This guy's getting big. This guy's getting huge. Since the Morsels die, now I get to resolve them. And we're getting random Morsels at the beginning of turn because of Abandoned Antumbra. Not to mention, this thing has 15 and 6 damage. Wait, I just realized that this resin block, because I resolve units with my, my champion, when I resolve them, they come back with 10 strength. Holy shit. I forgot to do harvest. What am I doing? I need space to put harvest on this floor, so while he's getting scaling and getting bigger, my guy is getting stronger as well. Whoops. So let's put this up there. And let's put these over here. So, man, the resolve is... Look at that. Oh, they're getting... Oh my god, this is, this is so good. My relics are so synergistic. My deck is so synergistic. It's great. So space for some up here, so I can fit something nice in there. Oh my god, to stay alive. So let's put this in front. Boom. Put this guy over here. Put this up here. Wait, Morsel Miner. I want to put that on the top. Ah, I should have done that one instead. Instead, we'll do this. This guy's going to be big. Instead of my Overgorger, which definitely wanted it. But that's okay. Having the bottom floor be kind of strong is not bad. So I want this guy to stay alive, so I'm going to put this guy in front to tank. And... I want this guy to stay alive as well. So we're going to try to make that guy tank as well. Alright, beautiful. We need more space because we can't actually play all these morsels. The stealth is so good, absolutely. And morsels are actually like good units, like zero, the strong zero cost units. They're just nice. Look at these, these morsels are sick. And notice my fatal melting, fifty-seven damage AOE. So imagine this gets holdover. This is nuts. This is nuts. Let's do damage to the boss. Let's give my guy more damage. Um, double attack. He needs, I need to heal up my, my Overgorger somehow. Overgorger needs to heal. He's at 1 HP. Okay, so we want to make more so minor in the top because that's what's going to give my guy 
Double scaling, boom, boom, boom. Put this guy right here. If I put this guy here, I can get harvest, right? So let's do that. Okay, these are actually not doing anything. I need my spell, so I have a spell called Memento Mori that does a shit ton of damage. We just need to get it. So we've been scaling up our spells the whole fight. And there it is. 310 damage. Wow, it needs frost because this guy's in the way. Fuck. I'll put that, so this guy's going to get two damage shows now. I want to do Memento Mori. But he's in the way. I need, I need permafrost in that ability. I can't ascend because it has to be on, on the floor right below. It's pyre bound only. Oh, but how much damage is this doing now? 108 damage. Nice. What I want to do is actually make this get even scalier. So what we're going to do is this. So he's going to scale up a little bit more. And this overgorger is pretty big. All right, and oh, another Memento Mori. Say it ain't so. There's also Devourer of Death, which works of Harvest, right? So gain one soul, extinguish, deal damage to the enemy units equal to 15 times the soul count. So you put that in the lane where you're, you're doing all your morsels, and when that dies, boom, one shot. Or I could take the spell version of it. So this needs to be in the lane when things die. This is just things that are dying, scale it naturally. Alright. Memento Mori. Another Morsel Master? I can create? Yes. Answer is yes. Do I want energy? Or do I want card draw? I want pip space. So we can duplicate a card. Do I duplicate my Memento Mori one more time? I think I want to duplicate this, um... What's it called? My AoE spell. My Fatal Melting. The Fatal Melting is very good. AoE damage to help me stay alive. I'd maybe rather duplicate that. Unfortunately, I can't upgrade it first because I don't have an upgrade. So I can go for Umbral Unit. And upgrade my unit like an upgrade overgorger. And where's the next duplicate? So I want to upgrade my spells. So there's going to be a spell upgrade here. And then a duplicate over here. Oof. There's not really a good duplicate coming up over here. That's a long time from now. Huh. Duplicate the gorge. Now I'll wait. I'll wait till he's much bigger. So last time we made him duplicate 293, and we also want we want to upgrade the gorger. So let's do this. Let's see what unit we get. I'm not gonna take another morsel master. Let's upgrade the overgorger with quick or multi strike. Oh my! Now we just gotta get quick, and it's game over. We can give this guy damage still, so he takes two hits, and he becomes a better tank. Right? So, like, not only does he do damage to the front unit, but he tanks two hits. Like, that's really good. Two damage shields is not bad. We can give this guy burnout, so he can give stealth to my units. Eh, I'd rather not, actually. Let me think. Give a unit burnout. I don't have any reform. That's the thing. I need a reform mechanic somehow. I also need to remove some of these cards. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our guy. Versus a oh my god, he reformed two units. So I do have reform. I'm lying. Oh shit. That is actually so good. Enemy units enter with 15 armor. We're gonna do it. Whenever I reform a unit, it comes back with 10 strength because of resin block. 
Nice. Let's get Rector Flicker over here. Let's get our Harvester Baron over here. And let's start doing some work. Boom. Boom. And boom. And then now my mortals are coming back with a lot of life. Let's get Overgorger over in the top lane. I want this thing to do damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's put Morsel Master up here and Space Prism up there as well. Well, I meant to do. Let's do that. But I did meant to do Morsel Miner. Oh, my guy's getting tanky. I like it. I like it. I need space though, because I, I need to be able to. So let's put another Morsel Master, right? Now the next unit I put is going to get duplicated twice. So say no more. Let's do this. That's just 60 damage. Out of, like, that's 90 damage out of nowhere. That's 90 damage from Morsels out of nowhere. What the hell? Just 90 damage just like that. I want this out of my deck. Okay, and the Overgorger is also getting scaling. Everything just works so well in this deck. It's nuts. Look at these morsels! What the fuck? And Fatal Melting does 33 damage. Look at these morsels! Let's put this in tank, he's in a tank, right? Boom! He tanks and that does damage, and then we're gonna give this guy a little dredge in the back line. And then we're gonna put this. Boom! I might as well do that because I uh, just might as well send him up there. Why not? I can keep my damage shield intact. Nah, you just move. If you move, move to the main menu, you can save scum. Morsel miner. So this is why we want to put morsel miner. You ready? Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. You ready? Three Morsel Miners. Oh, the skilling is nuts. We love it. We love to see it. Everything's scaling. I'm scaling permanently with my Overgorger. I'm scaling with my Harvester. I'm scaling my Morsels that are dying. I'm scaling in death, I'm scaling in life. Memento Mori. Oh, this is a good tank. You put it in the front, boom. The only problem is, Memento Mori is wasted. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Let's give this guy more damage shield. Boom. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, buddy? This is a really cool deck, Anthony. It's a really cool deck. All right, let's put more Miner up there. Wait, I can put more Miner here and get some more damage. And you know what? Might as well do more damage right here because this Morsel is actually beefy. And then let's give Morsel Miner up top so we get three of those. Boom. Nice. I saw you get to Ascension 20, yeah. You're doing it. 
Personal artifacts, I get a random, I get a common or common or uncommon monster units to my hand, and then I also get when a friendly unit dies, I enhance it with 10. So when things die, they're getting stronger. And this does 129 damage. But I actually want my guy to scale up a little bit permanently, so we're gonna let him eat. Boom. This deck is working well. Gain energy for each friendly unit that has died this battle. Well, if I get ice cream, I get energy for the rest of the game. Or I could take a second Fatal Melting because it just works so well with the deck. Memories of the Melted just gives me a lot of energy, which I guess if I had X cost cards, that would be kind of cool. But I really don't. Are we struggling with energy sometimes? Sometimes we are. So this helps me have a better turn. The permanent super... He's very strong. Yeah, he is. He is. Let's get some Ember Cash. Trigger Feeding and Morsel. Wait, that's really good. Because then I can play even more scaling on my, my Overgorger with the Double Morsel Masters. I mean, I like Ember Cash, but this works really well with my deck. So I can do more in one turn. Alright, two feasts. Trinket Shop or upgrade my units? Well, we want to upgrade... I do want to remove as well. Fuck. And maybe I get double gorge ability, so let's go over here. Let's remove some of these train stewards. And let's see what we got here. When you summon your first morsel unit, draw a card, and morsels get damage shield. These are just good, yeah? Do we want them to have damage shield, or do we not really care about that? Yes to it. Yo, congrats officially. Alright, they're gonna get full health, but we get random artifacts. I'm down. But they can tank, with the damage shield, they can tank a hit. And enemies could also sweep. Alright, let's put the Baron over here, our Rector Flicker over here. Let's get our Morsel <laughs> Excavator over here. Let's get our Dredge over here. And a Morsel Miner up top. Alright, we got Morsel Master, we got Overgorger. I think I have to put the second one in unfortunately, so we put two of these. Wait, look at that damage already. Wait, I didn't save energy. So now I can do Mind Collapse and I just lost gold. Ah, I played this so wrong. No, I missed out on 75 gold. I'm triggered. I was so rushing to play my cards, I forgot to do Mind Collapse first. Which allows me to play both my things. Well, how much we can do about it? We lost 75 gold. It happens. Sure, maybe a little bit officially. You guys want a science for 75 gold? Fog it. Just remember to use mine collapse. Look at that morsel miner. Wow. Alright, we put two morsel miners up top. Look at this. Boom. Feast. Memento Mori. Fatal Melting. Look at this. Boom. Get in there. Get in there. He's dead. And let's put Marshall Jeweler in there. Boom. You get a win with a 174 card deck? Wait, why is your deck so big? How do you have 174 cards? Wait, I don't even know if you get offered that many cards. Hey, what the hell?
Fatal melting here so I get all the harvest tax. Boom! Look at the harvest. Go. Oh, and let's put another morsel jeweler. Yeah, sure, why not? And let's put a morsel excavator. Look, look at these morsels are getting so big. You got a spell that kept duplicating when slaying stuff and it killed everything. Basically just saving those and with the artifacts it did 40 damage for zero each. Wow. Mercury, I, I responded. So the first one, you get a random uncommon or common more so. And then the second one, whenever a friendly unit dies, it gets plus 10 strength. I want to kill these units because they're going to get full health when they come to the top. Let's do another Morsel Miner. My, my Overguard is big. He's big, 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 big. Look at this dredge. Final wave time. Alright, we have another Morsel Master, so let's put it up here. Give him... Wait, Momentum Worry? Alright, put the Morsel Excavator. Feast! A big dredge. Look how big my dude is. Fatal memories? Oh my, fatal memories is big. Fatal melting, I mean, sorry. More some miners, nuts. I actually don't have space for any of this stuff. Also won the first one for stations with units with 450 armor. <laughs> nice. I have yet to do a duck like that. We can just kill it with Momentum Mori. This is... <laughs> I have 780 damage right here. But instead I'm going to do this to make my guy even bigger. You guys ready? Feast. And then do this. Get him even bigger. Jack strips. I love jack strips. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Wicked Blaze. Reform a unit and bring it back. I think having like a sec selected target Wicked Blaze would be quite nice, right? All right, do crystal extension. Oh, my deck's getting kind of fat. I like Ember Forge. It gives me energy. Crystal extension can help me play even more morsels. The problem is when I have double morsel master, it duplicates the morsels anyways, and then I can't really do anything with that. So crystal extension is only really good on the middle floor. It's only really good on the middle floor. And caving could be useful to like overstack a lane. I think I could just also just skip there. I think my deck's kind of pretty much done. I got my Ember Forge in the bottom. So duplicate a card or get an artifact and remove and upgrade a spell. We maybe remove some of these dredges or shade splitter because we rather play miners. And if we duplicate, what would we duplicate? Maybe we duplicate feast. I think duplicating feast would be quite nice. Memento Mori is kind of insane. Duplicate the Molth Overgorger at this point. The Overgorger is crazy at the moment 132 times 2 what am I going to do with two overgorgers though that's the thing I'm going to do this get an artifact units get an extra upgrade slot extinguish ability trigger additional time what extinguish abilities do I have I have 
This does damage to the front when it dies. And I have... This adds stealth. So, I would get more stealth with extinguish abilities. Or I can get... An extra upgrade slot. And make my overgorger that much better. I mean, I, I, where's, where's the next way to up... Where can I see the upgrades? When's the next time I'm gonna upgrade my units? Let's do that. Let's, let's upgrade our unit like crazy. Let's remove some of these dredges, right? And we don't really like shakes better that much either. I think dredges is better. They're at least their bodies. Upgrade to get double stack, so I can do six days. What? They go to the top and just get six days. <laughs> That's nuts. What's up, Hex? The top right, the icon shows what options there will be. Recto Flicker. Morsel Master. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this game, yeah. Alright, we got our harvester here. Time to harvest. We got... A little bit of that going on with damage. That guy's 93 life. Sugar feast now. Sure. Let's play a uh, this elemental mori. Play some dredges. Damn, the jack just gave me the harvest. Thank you. So now I need the thing that gives me the ability to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Overgorger time. But, in order to keep him alive, I want to put Molten Encasement in front. And now I kill the whole, the whole damn floor. Let's put this here. Let's put... This here. And let's get this out. Why not? I need up with the overgorger. Fatal melting is nuts. Space prism up here. Mental Mori on this guy. Fatal Melting here. And let's put this right here. Give my unit stealth. And give this guy right here. Tank it to hit for me, please. And summon this right here. I just missed some scaling on my overgorger, unfortunately, because I was trying to save him some life. That's okay, my overgorger is big enough as it is. The is quite nice right now. I can't kill anything with this mind collapse. Let's keep that in mind. Wicked Blaze is quite good here. We also want to do Feast, so let's try to do Feast. But I don't want to Feast on the Dredge. I don't want him to get Feast, so how do I fix that? It has to be enemy unit. I can't. I can't do my gloves. My own unit. That sucks. So we're gonna do this. Wow. 
That's a big ass unit, dude. I'm making this dredge really big. I feel kind of Fuck. Another Morsel Master. Why is this guy? Uh, Mental Mori. Do this, that's 81 damage to the boss as well. It's pretty good. If I could kill them, I could also do 270 to the boss. My world version needs more damage shields and it needs more life. Final wave. Mental Mori, look at this. Finally. 330. Let's see if we can like summon Feast first. We got Feast. Nice. So let's do Morsel Miner. Boom. And then... This. Feast. Now he gets... Lifesteal. Memento Mori. 370 damage, no big deal. And a little bit of a dredge. I say little, but that's a pretty big dredge. Dreg, dreg, it's a dreg, not a dredge, a dreg. Let's give stealth to our units. Nice. Do that. Let's add another drag. Good damage, good damage. Wicked Blaze or Morsel Miner. Let's get this Overwatcher even bigger. I haven't played Griffin yet, nope. And then GG. 500 damage for two mana. Wow. Wow. Okay. Return all another Memento Mori. Jeez. Gain soul. I mean, Devour Death would be good, but I don't think I need it. I think we're just kind of good. Wretch. That's almost so many, way too many morsels, right? Like, I can't even make space for Wretch to work. I don't think I need anything. I think I'm good, guys. <laughs> more card draw or more energy? How are we doing on energy? I think we want, like, a little bit of energy here. To make, like, Fatal Melting Times 2 a little bit easier to do, right? Or Memento Mori, etc. So, I'm gonna do energy. Because there's sometimes where I want to also get rid of like negative effects that would hurt my pyre otherwise. Let's go for upgrading our units because I really want to upgrade the Overgorger. Is there an upgrade coming up? I can upgrade over here. Alright, let's go to upgrade our unit there. So let's go get the artifacts and upgrade spells right now. Do I need double Morsel Miner? Hmm. Shade Splitter's got to go. Let's go ahead and see what this is. When you play a spell, spells in, in hand that cost less or reduces zero. So how would that work? That doesn't work that well with my deck. 
So let's just do improve firebox. Give a spell double stack. That doesn't work on my deck. Make a spell cost cheaper. Let's put that on crucible extension. Make this do 10 more damage. Nah. Mind collapse? Yeah. Mind collapse is better with that. We have no gold left. Alright, let's upgrade. Let's see the last stack. Reform three random units at the end of combat. Absolutely. Okay. Let me use the bathroom real quick. Enemy units enter with 20 armor. I need the gold, guys. We're broke. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go. There's a map. You can see how far your progress is. One hundred and sixty life. Wow. Well, overgorge will go top. Retro flicker over here. More so minor. Wait, mine collapse is actually pretty good right now. That's thirty-one damage. Bye. Feast. That's really good. Let me show you why. Because if I feast, now I can bring them back because of my resolve mechanic. That's very good. Yo, thank you for the tier 1 sub hex. I appreciate it, man. And now they come back with a vengeance. We got Fatal right here, so let's do this. Morsel Miner. Oh, wait, I forgot to do Morsel Master first. Whoopsies. Let's do Fatal Melting. Wait, did I put my heart? Where's my guy, who, the Harvester? This guy can tank two hits. Look at those morsels. Gorgeous. And I keep getting morsel miners. I love it. Wait, my guy's taking damage. So. Let's prevent that. Fatal Melting prevents that. I can put a Morsel Master over here. Look at the damage. I need to put my Baron somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna do more damage here. I need to put my Baron somewhere. If I do this, the Baron can stay alive. That's perfect. You like saying the word morsel? Yeah, so do I. Morsel. Damage will save my guy. Nah, my, my, my harvest is not gonna be very tanky this this one because I couldn't I didn't put him on top. Unless I bring. All right, let's see. I can bring. I can keep these guys alive. Oh, I need an AOE attack. Otherwise, I don't think. Alright, my guy's gonna stay alive for a little bit. Like, keeping my guy alive is actually so good. Elemental Mori is good for that. I'd rather him tank the hit. I could do Siren Song, I guess. Nah, but I need to kill that guy. Alright, my guy stayed alive. The, the stealth keeps my guy alive, that's great. Stealth is such a good mechanic. I want quick on my, my overgrudger, absolutely quick is so much better. Quick is insane. Quick multi-strike with that much damage is nuts. Let's do more so minor, so now we can do feast here. 
another Morsel Miner to feast. Let's do this instead, so I can get energy back. Feast. And then let's put somebody in front to tank. Or I could just do Fatal Melting. Uh, let's do Fatal Melting here. And then let's do Entombed Explosive. This guy can tank two hits. This home explosive is so good. Put this guy in the back. I put more some minor to keep my guy scaling. My deck is so good. Oh, yeah, I lost my champion. Fuck, I was so focused on the bottom floors, I let my champion die. Oh my god, I could have saved this floor. Well, now things are getting dicey. Now we don't get resolved, which is a big part of my deck. Whoopsies. But we have an overgorger. I see my Baron over my champion, and my champion is better because of the resolve mechanic. But we have things like this. So we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We, we need to get damage shield on our, on our guy though. Our guy needs damage shield really bad. I get energy back when I do this. Oh my god, 320 damage. It's good damage. These spells are really good. My overgorger needs. He needs some damage shield. Mental Mori again. 380 damage. I bring my champion back. Has one burnout. Fuck. At least it resolves units for me. But I didn't get to resolve units. <laughs> oh yeah, GG, we win. He dies in the first hit. That's a lot of gold. I love it. I love it. Look at the gold. Apply stealth to a unit, that's very good. Enhance a friendly unit with burnout and three times. Let's do one stealth and let's, let's skip everything else. Damage shield? Uh, cave-in? Uh, skip. So I was thinking about Siren Song, but nah. Okay, so here we want to upgrade our unit and then do duplicate, right? So you guys ready? We're going to upgrade our unit. Because we have a lot of... Oh my goodness. Gracious, multi strike and quick. And you know what? Give it some health so that it's a little bit easier to stay alive. What a big boy. And you know what time it is? It's time to duplicate it. Because why not? Let's go buy some trinkets. Enemies getting minus one. That's really good. Summon a Morsel Miner on each floor. Let's purge some cards. And GG. Well, wish me luck. Let's see if I have any more upgrades. Give a unit, like... Let's give... Our Baron some health. And you know what? Let's reroll. Give him my Baron... Some more health. Use our gold perfectly. Is it remove any half a diva? Okay. Look at those most miners, and when I play my champion, I get. They also have damage shields. Oh, this is just so good because like, 
My Wrecked Reflector brings those back, and then my guy also gets Harvest from it. Just so many good things. More so Master. We can do this, keep my guy alive. We can do Stealth, because why not? We can trigger this right now, because why not? Overgorge her time. Boom! I can kill the champion before that. I'm gonna kill the boss before the boss has a chance to do anything. That's my goal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Mind Collapse for one. So let's do Morsel Master. Mind Collapse. 400 damage straight up. Let's put one of these in front. Oh, it's too big. Let's put this in front over here. Hell yes. You know what? Go over there. Get some energy next turn. Nice. Let's go the let's go the bust before it has a chance to do anything. Oh yes, we love to see it. All right, fatal memory, fatal, fatal melting would be so good here to kill everything. All right, before we do anything, let's do. Make it of a morsel. Morsel minor. Okay. Fit melting. Nice. Do this way against stealth, put that in the front. Because I don't need this anyways. Let that take damage. I do more damage to the boss that way. Alright. So that's all dead. Because I have quick, so none of that matters. More so minor. Huge. Bring back Intoned Explosive. Bring back the Miners. We're so set up right now. Oh, it's time to do damage to her. Now it's time, boys. All right. Can I can I give her Pyre Song? Is it working on her, or can I get the unit out of the way? Okay, let's first make summon a unit. Let's bring back the Morsel Miner that has a lot of damage. It's just 120 damage right there. Memento Mori. Ooh. Did I get the weed out of the way? Does that work? That song. Oh, we're, going for, we're trying to kill her. We're trying to kill her. We're trying to kill her here. That song is beautiful. Look at those miners. Oh boy, Fatal Melting is getting big. You ready for this? I'm gonna feast up top. Fatal Melting times two. You ready?
she has seven life. GG. Wait, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. Alright, I wanna like do something crazy. So let's do this. Okay, feast. That's so much damage. Oh my god, my mental mori's nuts. Whatever, it's already GG, we already won. I want to win in a better fashion, but Boom. What a nice synergy from the from the like the onset. Like the deck is just like was working like amazingly. Give him stuff so my guy takes no damage. Look at that. Oof. Everything's nice and healed. This guy has a hundred life, three hundred and two damage. Whew. Beautiful. Damn, he just stabbed it right in the neck. That was cool. Those go well together. Those two go well together.